This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative to markets. So we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, M-U-L-N, about a week, a week and a half ago, I did a video on it. M-U-L-N cut ties with Lawrence Hodge. Okay, and it seems like they must have saw the writing on the wall and knew what was coming down. Lawrence Hodge contract that he had with Washington, D.C. has been terminated. They said they weren't aware that he was a felon. And it seems like that technology that he's been claiming, he might have been running a Ponzi scheme. He might have been running a Ponzi scheme. Because there have been there haven't been any tests by any verifiable companies that his technology works. And he said that, that General Motors was interested in the technology and it seems like an investigative reporter contacted General Motors and they had no idea what the investigative reporter was talking about. So it seems that Lawrence had who had already been to jail for securities fraud, I think in 2001 or 2002 or something like that, might be back to his old tricks, okay? It appears he might be back to his old tricks, and MULN did the right thing by severing ties with him, and I don't think that it's going to really have a negative effect on the MULN stock, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell MULN, but I think they saw the writing on the wall and washed their hands of Lawrence Hodge right in time. But back to Mullen, I still believe the company has great potential. I still believe they could be a big play in the commercial EV market. And I might pick up some more shares today. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey.